Now, we worry about the future in, um, you know, because of these things. We want to know what will happen, what are the events that will happen, but the events by themselves are not, um, are not meaningful. Events are not meaningful. If you, if you sit on the train, go on a train to London, sit down, and someone is sitting next to you, and you, you strike a conversation with them. We, we strike conversation with people we don't know all the time. So this in itself would not be a meaningful event. What will become a meaningful event, if it turns out that by the end of that conversation, you find a lot in common, you decide to start a business together, and that business becomes very successful. And then later on, when you tell the story, and you say, can you imagine it was all down on meeting that person on the train to London? Can you think that I could have gone and sat in the car, in the next car, or I could have said a few rows up, I actually never met that person? So the mere meeting of the person is not significant. What's significant is the consequences of that. And, and ultimately, and how that changes preferences in try, trying to anticipate uh, what, what people would do. So when we, when we talk about events, this is often about prediction, trying to predict what events will happen. When we talk about consequences, this is about prophecy. And what are the consequences of the event? Prophecy, as you would perhaps agree, this is a bit more difficult to, to venture into the area of prophecy. Uh, even more difficult is to expect, to anticipate how, we'll, how we will feel about things let alone how others will feel about things. And this is where you know, Henry Ford's um, insight was quite, quite interesting. He said, if I had asked what people wanted, they would have said faster horses. And the thing here is that people did probably want faster horses. If you had asked them about cars, they could not react. They could not give you an answer about cars. If you put a car in front of them, all of a sudden, the way, we, the way they feel and, and their preferences would change simply in reaction to putting them in a car or in a car in front of them. 